of Buddy Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for the Elusive Samurai chapter 29. And before I get to this recap and live reaction, um, just a reminder to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking, feel free to hit my cash app and PayPal, which the links are in the description box below. So last chapter, my boy Tokiyuki gave Hoshina a, let's just say a drunk, elusive butt style of awakening. <laughs> that shit was awesome. And he gave a really good argument though. He did. He basically said, look, dude, if you die an honorable death, which it seems like you're drunk on, to be honest, um, then who's going to protect the oppressed? There's no one there to protect the oppressed or train the oppressed so they can protect themselves. They're going to be um, oppressed even more if you guys die. And that woke them up. And now they're um, going to flee. But woo, Kakushi is not having this shit. He is not. Um, and now he's going to chase after them. Anyway, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this weekend. Oh, we are starting with a beautiful, beautiful color page. What's we you spoil us? I see a future in which you live, but it is not guaranteed. If you neglect the struggle for survival, you will die. Um, and what what's going on is um, Emisogi, which is the act of washing away sin and impurity, also conducted to pray for safety. Um, the experience you gain through um, battle is of immeasurable value. I beg you to stay safe, Tokiyuki-sama. I really love what your Ashige is doing. And also, your Ma Matsui, this art is just freaking gorgeous. I love the color palette. It is beautiful. And it fits um, what um, Soki is. It does. Oh my God. And this chapter is titled General 1334, but Matsui, 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 you are spoiling me this week. This freaking cover page. It is gorgeous. Look at him dancing in the leaves. Oh, he looks so beautiful. This color palette is so beautiful. There's your, your Shige is just chilling. It, it, I know it kind of looks creepy that he's watching um, Tokiyuki dance. He looks like a perv. <laughs> but God, God, this is beautiful, Matsui. I love it. Anyway, let's keep going. Hoshino-sama, um, is that where I switch it? Hoshino-sama, the Kakushi's army is following us. Um, order the women and children to flee. If they flee through the barricade to the north, we can hold the enemy there. Let's see. We must turn around to stall the enemy at our heels. Hurrah, those idiots are turning back. And the Kakushi has ordered us to kill all the men. <gasps> Love this. Um, everyone gets an equal share of the women and children and all the loot. But I love this right here where we have, and the Kikuchi has ordered us to kill the men we have. Well, first, we, they look human. And then, you know, and the Kikuchi has ordered us, they're human, but to kill all the men, this panel, they have, de they look like demons. I love this freaking metaphorical art so much. That's what makes this manga so fucking amazing. Um, or one of the many reasons why this manga is so fucking amazing. The Bokocho Tag, uh, Burning Demon, oh, the D Burning Demon Brigade, oh, this fits. This fits perfectly. I believe you didn't even have to um, say this was the Burning Demon Brigade because I can see it right here. Because something that is important in art in general is to show, not tell. And God, it is showing. It is showing. Um, and this is Kakushi's guard. And oh, God. God. I would say maybe my only complaint here is I wish like the horse was on 
fire. I would have loved to seen like like to seen like a hell horse kind of thing where like the mane was like on fire. That would have been bomb. Why didn't you do that? That would have been kick ass if you had like the horse on fire. Like the not like the entire horse on fire, but just like the mane on fire. Just give me like a hell horse. That would have been kick ass. I think that's the only thing that um that was missing. But I see like I know it's weird that it says burning demon brigade and it's not like like full on burning burning but where the black is going i see where the i see how it's burning because of the black like flowing through the way it is but i kind of i kind of wish there was more like i wish there was more fire like coming from the ground i do but other than that it looks bomb Anyway, let's keep going. Um, the leader of the Kakushi's private force, the governor's guard, is uh, Wada Yanomaru, whose family has long guarded the Kakushi's territory. <laughs> He's like this. He's a... <laughs> He's a loudmouth, brutal villain. Advance of, um, on the right too, Grar, whose skill in martial arts and intimidating yet forceful leadership demand caution. Yes, Lord. Hmm. Um, in other words, defeating him will weaken the Kakushi's forces. I love this background. Um, defeat him? No, Kojiro. First, we'll use him. Hmm? Uh, Yudamaru-sama is coming back! For everyone from here, um, oh my god. Roar! Everyone from here on back, follow me! Huh? Is isn't the whole arm? Oh, fuck. I screwed this up. I'm sorry. Rah, everyone from here on back, follow me. We go up the mountain on the right. Why am I fucking this up right now? I'm sorry. Rah, everyone from here on back, follow me. We go up the mountain on the right. There we go. Oh, God, it was bugging me. Huh? Isn't the whole army going straight for Hoshina? No, you bird brains. This group will swing behind them so we can slaughter them from both sides. Oh, I see what he wants to do. Dude, I love that Kakushi, the, you know, the Kakushi armies are black while everyone else is white. That's pretty good. Ooh, and I, you guys, I notice, I see that, um, uh, oh my gosh. Um, I see Yonamar, I see, I see them fangs in Yonamaru's mouth. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not. But yeah, he has fangs like here on the top and the bottom. They're very pronounced. I can see it. Keep up or I'll kill you all. Grar. I love it. I love that he's right like this. Yes, Lord. Uh, yes, Lord. Uh, we're withdrawing across the flat area so we cannot set ambushes, which leaves us at a disadvantage as the smaller force. And that's not good. Um, that means we must find a way to divide the enemy. Come on, climb faster. And one of us has the necessary skills. Ah, uh, um, arrows from above? What's happening, Yanomaru-sama? Grrr, grrr, no, uh, we need, <laughs> he's just growing. Um, no, we need orders, Yanomaru-sama. Grrr, grrr, isn't enough. Dude, he's literally just roaring. You talking to me? Yes, but who are you? I see, you memorized his appearance and disguised yourself. Um, the messenger's party is formidable indeed. That sneaky little bitch. Um, woo! Uh, Shinomiya, um, uh, Simontaru, he is a skilled archer. The Suwa, um, sect in, uh, Kawanakajima is dependable. Yes, he is. As for Hoshina, despite the fierce fighting, um, not a blood splatter of blood, um, not, oh my god, despite the fierce fighting, not a splatter of blood touches his face. Woohoo! Now that, how's, oh my god, how's that, messenger? That looks good. We were strong um, when resigned to death and we're stronger when determined to live. See, that's, that was the whole point. When you're, yes, you were strong when you, when you want to die, sure. But when you want to live, like you, get, you become even stronger. And we, you know where we've seen this in particular is we've seen this a lot in Kingdom to be honest. However, escape could prove difficult. After our families reach safety, we must lose the enemy and find safety ourselves. Speaking of which, where's your fierce companion? 
I let Kojiro determine his own course of action. I believe that will serve you best. Yep. Uh, first I hit and run because a child like me is at a disadvantage against adult warriors. Um, uh, dude, dude is still roaring. Like, what the fuck? Then I use my small size to flee uh, to a high place to search for allies in need of aid. Then another attack followed again by flight. After Oh, okay. I see what the roaring is for. Signal. After repeating that maneuver, I have achieved a comprehensive grasp of uh, the entire battlefield and um, determined the best place to strike. Do what Kojiro's doing is freaking genius. I need help from four or five of Hoshina's men. Hey, you, come with me. You with the incredibly pinched face. Pinched face? Well, whoever do you mean? <laughs> Don't change like that. It's confusing. You come too, you with the square features. What square <laughs> What square features? Surely you don't mean me. Or don't go circle on me. <laughs> don't go a circle on me, then my description doesn't fit. Oh my god. <laughs> How about me? Describe me. Forget it. You're just <laughs> okay, you're just a monstrous thing, but you come too. <laughs> oh my god, this manga. Enemy troops are skirting the river to attack the women and children behind us. We must band together and hit their flank. In those days, many armed forces were small and um and leadership was lax. However, the house al houses allied amongst themselves on the fly. Oh my God! However, the houses al uh, allied amongst themselves on the fly, thereby changing the course of battle. Ooh. Hmm? You will not pass. Yeah. Hey, not bad, Baldy. I ain't bald. Look closer. I got <laughs> I got a little hair in the back, but I shave it. Oh my god, these guys are a pain in the butt. Oh my god, I do not blame you, Kojiro. I would be so pissed. Well, I would be annoyed and pissed. Anyway, no, it's my fault for not knowing their names. At mealtime, I'll make proper introductions. Yeah. But dude, I at the same time, Kojiro, like these guys have been annoying pricks. I don't blame you for, for not knowing their names because they've been annoying this entire time. Fubuki, what are you doing here? Your station um your station is elsewhere. <gasps> no, 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 no. Fubuki, um, hang in there. Who did this to you? Hey! I'm so hungry, no strength at all. <laughs> Why like, you really are helpless. <sighs> Got brain power, but no stamina. Here, have a fresh manju. I feel ten times stronger. Then get back to your spot, dude. I swear, Fubuki, you are a freaking Saiyan. I swear to God. Please, your strategizing is indispensable to the elusive warriors. No, anyone can learn and devise strategy. What's indispensable is a general who moves around the battlefield, risking himself for the sake of others, which means you are our esteemed um, adjutant general. Ooh, Buki has a good point. Aw, uh, that phrase sounds fake coming from someone so talented. <laughs> just, take, just take the compliment. Um, guys? You, um, the one with the square and cir circle, you, um, the one with the square and circle features and the guy who's bald except for the little bit of fuzz that he shaves. Rawr, you defeated my separate force, so you'll pay with your life. Uh-oh, they, they got hit. They're, oh no, they're gone. No, the guy with the square and circle features and the guy who's bald except for that little bit of, um, fuzz that he shaves. No, he's, it's not good, it's not good. Um, a server from Sua and Grand, Sua Grand Shrine, eh? Too bad killing a flea ain't nothing to brag about. Shut up, Blob! I'll scatter your stinking blubber in the Chikuma River! Get him, Kajiro! Ooh! Dude, this final panel is freaking fierce, because you got two fierce tigers about to clash, and I live, live for this. So... Overall, I really like this chapter. I do. I love seeing these. I love how Kojiro is becoming a beast himself because he's avenging comrades. Well, he didn't know them very well, but you pissed him off, my dude. Oh, my God.
this I love you Matsui this chapter was good it really was good I the thing that was the thing that's been good about this arc in particular is we're getting um we're getting to see more character development for Kojiro because he we haven't really gotten that much uh for him yet so Anyway, I'm very curious what you guys saw this chapter. Um, what do you guys think of, of course, the metaphorical art that Matsui um, has given us this week? Um, and uh, are you excited to see these beasts clash? I am really hyped for this. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Zinc if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdy I'll be seeing you later.